Hi, my name is Zach. Now I'm going to show you how to create pre-made body parts in Photoshop. Then we can import all the body parts into Crazy Talk Animator without doing any actor fitting in actor fitting editor. As you can see here, there are common body parts that we need to create in Photoshop such as face, arm, forearm, hands, tie, shank and so on. So now we are in Photoshop. This is a Bruce Lee image that I have downloaded from the internet. Now we are going to do that I call marking process of all the body parts that we that we need okay the first step we create a new layer there's a new layer here and then uh, I rename the Bruce layer to Bruce name and then I rename the new layer to Max so please ensure you are in the max layer and then I'm going to choose the color of my marks I choose the blue color and then we go to the brush tool and then I modify the brush type I choose the heart and the size I've choose 2 pixels Now we are marking all the parts that we are going to cut out then we will save it into the individual file. So I will speed up this video and then I will show you the final result of the marking process. Okay, this is the result of the marking process. By the way, just to remind that all the marks has been done on the marks layer. So we save this image as a Photoshop format just for a precaution. Before you start the cutout process, make sure you are select the Bruce layer. In this cutout process, I'm only using elliptical marquee tool and the polygonal lasso tool. Okay, now let's use elliptical marquee tools to select the area of the body parts ok next we use the polygonal lasso tool to merge these two join area as well as to create the complete left arm for this image you must hold the shift key 
during using the polygonal lasso tool. Just for your tips, you have to follow the outline accurately on the selected body part which are overlapping with other body parts. But it's no need to follow accurately if the outline of the selected body part is not overlapping with other body parts. After you have done the selection of this left arm, again ensure that you are still in Bruce layer, then right click and choose the layer by a copy. Once you have copied the selected area, the new layer for the left arm will be automatically created. Then let's rename it to left arm for us to easily know where is the layer. It's important to reselect the bruise layer before continue to select the next body part. After you have completed the cutout process, just check all the required parts are in the layer. Now we'll create the individual image file for all the body parts by go to file, scripts, then click export layers to file. Before we run that process, we need to ensure the visible layer are the body parts only, height, the marks and bruise layer. In this prefix box, I just make it blank. Once completed, press OK. 
then you can find all the body parts file are in the body parts folder. The next step is left click and hold then drag the desired body part into the Photoshop blank tab area then release the mouse button. Now it's time to touch up all the body parts one by one. It doesn't matter whether it's perfect or not whereby you might modify it later if you are not satisfied with it. These are the result of those body parts after the touch-up process. Now we are in Crazy Top Animator and I will use Mr. Rosenberg as a reference or mold to replace his body parts with Cruz body parts. To do that process, we need to switch to the Composer mode. Select the part that we want to replace and click the Sprite Editor button. Choose the part, click Replace then find and select the similar part. For now, just rotate the part into the proper direction. Do the same for all other parts just by click at those parts.
just ignore the head at the moment. Now we need to reposition and resize all the parts into the correct position. In this case, I have considered the low torso is the center point. On the stage mode, we will create the face by importing the bruised face from the body parts folder. Then we just continue with the face fitting process until complete. Press OK and no for this. So now we have our bruise face and the final step is switch back to the composer mode for resize and reposition the face into the proper spot. So now our Bruce Lee is ready for action.